He's working hard. Ooh, I'm so tired. I have a flight to Manila. It's one in the morning. He watches my videos, which made my day. It's a 17 hour flight. There's absolutely zero chance I survived this. Only 17 hours to go. It is seven in the morning, I think. Beautiful, beautiful airport. I found out that I hate 17 hour flights a lot. I googled it and it's the seventh longest flight that you can possibly take in the world, JFK to Manila. <sighs> I think someone's picking me up now. I, I think. I'm not, po I honestly have no idea what's happening. I think someone's picking me up though. How you guys doing? Hey Tom. Good to meet you. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm still there. Alright, perfect. Is this So we are in the car, we're going, where are we going? We're going to Quezon City. We're going to Quezon City, which I guess is where I'm staying and where the event's happening, and we're getting breakfast, where are we getting breakfast? Jollibee. We're getting breakfast at Jollibee, which is like the quintessential staple of when you think Filipino food, you think Jollibee. I've had it a couple times in Canada, I'm sure it's like 10 times better here. It's 8 in the morning and we're going to a fast food restaurant, which makes me very excited. This should be good. let it sink in that it's 8 in the morning right now and I'm eating fried chicken for breakfast. This is the greatest day of my life. It's just an appetite. What are you guys doing? <laughs> what is it? They bought me like <laughs> enough food for four people. That's Look, all this yours. and this and That's this for, and this and this. That's for the culture. This is all, how do you, <laughs> this is not going to fit inside of my stomach. All right, I am tapping out. That's the most I can do. I just ate enough food for like four people. Thank you guys, you're the best. All right, what's happening? So I have a bunch of Filipino brand sneakers from World Balance. Okay. So I wanna show it to you guys and let get what your thoughts are on the sneakers. World so Balance. World Balance, inspired by New Balance. So it, it hasn't released yet. Mm. It will release this Saturday. Early they give run. like early pairs. Okay. So, so this is like this is the Stormtrooper one. So this is the Stormtrooper. Okay. They call it the Imperial Stormtrooper sneaker. The second sneaker. So this one, guys, is called Ray. <laughs> guys, I'm getting free sneakers, and I've been here two hours. <laughs> so this is the World Balance. It's called Court Glider. This is amazing. Look, I just got these gifted to me from this brand, it's called World Balance, I've never heard of them. It sort of looks like a LeBron 16 low and a Curry 4. It's a basketball shoe. I didn't bring basketball, I just didn't have room in my luggage for basketball shoes, but now I have basketball shoes. And it's actually occurring to me that I haven't really explained what I'm doing in the Philippines. Carlo? Hey, what's up? Can you explain what I'm doing in the Philippines? So we invited Tom over for Beyond the Culture. It's a new event here in the Philippines because usually when you talk sneaker expos, it's just buying, selling, and trade, right? Mm -hmm. So this sneaker event has a learning session in the morning. So we're in speakers and panelists like Tom will teach people how to start YouTube, how to start, you know, like your own sneaker business. There's a panel on how to break into the local hip hop scene. And there's also a panel how you can After 
some much needed editing and relaxation back at Carlo's place. Where are we going? We're going to Got Goods. We're, go we're going secret. to a secret. secret store. We're going to a secret store. My initial impressions of the Philippines, because I'm sure all you guys are asking, it is freaking hot. It is freaking humid. The sun sets at 5.30, which I am not a massive fan of in the slightest. Motorcyclists are certifiably insane and deserve to be put in an asylum. They're weaving in between. Like, I've been to California. I've seen motorcycles in California. The motorcycles here are just out of their minds weaving between traffic. I'm liking it so far. I haven't seen that much. I mean, I just got here today, but I'm excited to find this top secret sneaker store. So correct me if I'm wrong, Christian. Yeah. It's hidden within a mall that only sells fake stuff. Yes. But then there's this one sneaker store hidden inside that sells a whole bunch of real stuff. Exactly. This is so strange. And I'm so excited. This is the, I, I can't wait to get inside of this thing. Just walked past like tons of fake stuff. If you guys want to see a video there, just let me know and we can make it happen. And then there's, in the basement, there's a completely real legitimate sneaker store. This is so strange, but so awesome. This is such a cool store. Now for the pricing, I'm still getting used to this and you guys will have to bear with me here. Basically divide the price by 50 and then you get the US dollars. So this would be divided by, is that $180 then, I think? Maybe, I don't know, I haven't slept in 36 hours. My math isn't the best right now. They have tons of cool shoes, like they have Thunder 14s, they have Snakeskin 11s, they have the Cobalt 11 IEs. These are just some of the more basic stuff, and I guess like the sale rack, but then moving up here, they have undefeated Kobe's for 25,000, which is like, I don't know, 400 US dollars or 380 US dollars or something like that. These are amazing. I really want the yellow pair. The yellow pair is something I'd love to pick up down the line. If any of you guys have the yellow pair and want to bless me with a good price, let me know because I am in the market size 12. But then swinging over to the other wall, this is where we have all the good stuff happening. Like there are so many amazing pairs of Jordan 1s up here. We got Crimson Tints. Paris to New York's, Turbo Greens, the ones where they ripped off the swoosh, criminally underrated. This is an amazing pair of shoes and no one cares about them. And then we have like the Panda Women's Exclusives, Phantom Reds, these ones that I don't like that much, and then just every single Jordan 1 that's come out recently. I love it, absolutely love it. And then they have Jordan 4s, they have Jordan 6s. I don't know what they have in a size 12 because I have giant feet and I don't know what I'm gonna be able to find here in my size. This is a good price. I can tell you that right now, 10,000 for these is a very good price. I think, if I'm doing my math correctly, but I think that's an amazing price for some Legend Blue Jordan 11. We're checking out what size those Legend Blue 11s are right now because the size wasn't on the shoe. While we're waiting for the info to come back in, look at these, the Just Dawn, the original tan sand ones. This is crazy, like this is just hidden in the bottom of a mall where everything is fake and you go down to the bottom and they have this amazing reel Sneaker store, like you'd never know how to find this. You walk through this hallway, you take a right. It's like this little thing that looks like it's like a security entrance or for employees only. And there's a whole nother mall underneath the mall. This is, this is really, really cool. This is such a strange, like there's just, there's like an electronic store, there's a purse store, there's a jewelry store, and then there's a sneaker store. I don't want to get lost. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back that way, but this is this is just a really weird. It's underneath of a fake mall. Oh my goodness, we almost missed all the cool stuff. It's it's in the window. Interesting merchandising decision to not put any of your really cool sneakers in the store and put them outside of this store because I almost missed them. But they have wow, literally every single pair of Yeezys that is released. I mean, we have all of them, 350s, then we have 700s, moving on to the 500s, then we have 4Ds, and we have more 4Ds, off-whites, off-white cleats, off-white vapor flies, Prestos, 90s. Then we have the good Jordan ones, Travis Scott Lowe's, Travis Scott High's, UNC's, Flip Chicago things, whatever those are called. 
not for resale black ones, UNC obsidians. What I'm trying to say is that they have a ton of cool sneakers, but to put them in the window instead of in the store, little bit strange. Finally at the Airbnb. I have been in the same clothes for 36 hours. I haven't taken a shower. Haven't had a proper sleep or rest. But it's been amazing. Manila, first day impressions, very, very cool. I am just, I am so freaking tired. I'm taking a shower and I'm going straight to bed. And I might sleep for like four days straight. 